G'day, I'm Carissa. And I'm Justin. We're gonna take you for a little walk around our Jaco all-terrain. We're camped up here at a beautiful spot. No better spot to uh, take you for a walk around. Let's have a look. So in here we keep a lot of stuff. We've got our beach trolley. We'll take that out so we can see a bit more. Quick little gas cooker for day trips down the beach and stuff. We just throw it in the car and take a fry pan just to cook up a bit of lunch. Keep our uh, annex covers, awning, shades and things like that. Got me fins there for when I uh, have a bit, jump in the water and have a bit of a spear. Also keep our leads and dry stuff really in there. Move over into this side of the front toolbox. That's the, uh, my wet box. So any of your waste hoses. Um, I put the fire pit in there as well. A couple other spare jerrys just in case, but we'll, we haven't used them on this trip. This is our longest trip so far, so I might to actually leave them ones at home. Save on a bit of weight. Uh, we've added the stone stomper. It's been a great addition so far. You can see it on the back of the car there. Got a bit of exhaust damage, which I think um, I've read up a few times. Some people actually get them cut just to, um, to stop the exhaust blowing straight on it. Um, on the front here, I've added some extra latches to the toolbox just to keep them dust sealed. I keep all our clean water hoses. Obviously we don't have them hooked up here today because we're free camping. Keep the, the girls pink fishing rods, normally they're a bit tied together and a bit more protected. Um, and just some other odds and ends. So the front we've had a few changes for weight. So found that we had pretty high ball weight. So we actually pulled the jerry can holders off put them on the back, I'll show you that mod later, but took the stone stomper, off, uh, took the stone guard off, and now that we have the stone stomper, we probably don't really need it. Um, if we're doing small trips at home and we're not gonna cart the stone stomper around, but um, yeah, so we, so we kept our stone guard, we just took it off. I've added some tap guards um, on either side. The other side has got a, uh, a gas bay in it, fitting for the barbecue though. It's also got a guard in it. Obviously by removing the stone guard, we've been able to carry Charlotte's little kayak. It's only nice and light, but fits nicely there. Um, adds a bit of protection as well, a bit of plastic bounce. So the previous jockey wheel we had some dramas with at uh, one of our campsites and actually bent it. So we've upgraded it to a ARC 750. And then I utilize that, um, the old mount that's welded on just for a, uh, a storage spot for Elong when, um, when we're parked up. If we're putting in the right direction, I can use that. So obviously barbecue slide out there. It's a pretty tight squeeze. I've got to take the knob off to fit it in, but it fits in there nicely. Um, outdoor kitchen, access from both sides with the way this one opens. It opens sideways, so you get inside and outside access. With the outdoor kitchen, we've added a light too. Nice big light, so one benefit of that is it also keeps the bugs forward of the door a little bit, so they they keep it out of the door. We find if we use this light up here, we get a lot of bugs near that window when we're free camping and the bugs come in the inside and you can't close the window until you get rid of all the bugs out from there. Uh, TV box. I've got a little inverter set up for the Starlink access. Um, to get the cords in and out for Starlink, I've actually put a boat bung. So it seals nice and tightly in there. Um, just to put a hole saw and then put a boat bung in there that seals it perfectly. Uh, awning wise we've got the Aussie Traveller anti-flap kit. Um, works really really well and then some aluminium poles with some tie downs for holding the weight up there. Added a clothesline as you can see. I, I did make this out of Bun from Bunnings uh, material, but you can actually buy a kit from Jayco as well. So uh, We put new tyres on, so I think the standard ones are called Giddy ones. I actually put Coopers on the van before we come on this about 11,000 k trip over to WA. We're doing the Gib River Road and that sort of thing. So I just thought after we had done a, a fair, well, probably 18 months on the original tyres, I just thought I might, um, might put new ones in. Rear tunnel boot, obviously only two bunks in this van, so we've got a little rear tunnel boot. Pegs, ropes, uh, our camp chairs. Fold the camp mat up, put it in a king's bag. It fits really well, actually, and keeps everything nice and clean. 
found the bag that it came with was a bit tough to put back in and out. Your chainsaw, small camp oven, um, and basically just any other little bits and pieces that we can, can get in there. Bad little uh, sensor light, nighttime too. It's just a little battery operated one, fits perfectly. Gives enough light so if you do walk outside, you um, you got a bit of a light to see around your awning. Um, you see in, in the other side, when I showed you the tunnel boot, we keep our shade for the front, so we've got a caravan and to coast, a coast to coast caravan shade for the front and the side. Um, just gives a bit of privacy, blocks a bit of sun, gives a bit of extra shade when it is hot. Uh, Evolution Engineering Mackay actually helped us out and manufactured and engineered up a upgrade to the rear bar and added a firewood carrier. So I was after, a, I guess, a little bit less tow ball weight and I wanted to carry some firewood. It's a much like the new all-terrain off-grid version. Their rear bumper has a uh, firewood carrier on the back, but we've obviously put the Jerry's as well. Um, we've got the rear bike carrier for the kids' bikes, and I put the awning carrier just inside that. Um, obviously, these have a weight limit, so just watch your weight limit when you're loading everything up, but that's where I put our anti-flap kit and everything else. Overall, that's about it for the outside tour. Um, obviously toilet. I have added some fans, some extra fans, exhaust fans for the fridge, just when the sun's on it and it's struggling a bit. I added some 12 volt ones that I can manually turn on and off. Um, seems to work really well, drops it a few degrees. So we've also got the external adapter for just some external solar panels over there just to add some extra charge or if you're parked under a tree at a van or van park or something or free cam and you need some extra solar. Um, now underneath, I've done a fair few mods underneath here to try and keep the, uh, the um, piping and everything all protected. I've added, this is the standard mud flap that you get that comes with. I've added a second one there just to protect all these pipes and everything that runs. I guess with the kids and everything, I just didn't want to risk losing water and turning up at a free camp somewhere and not having any water because we've busted a pipe due to in a stick or a rock. Can't protect it from everything, but I guess I've done my best to, uh, to secure everything. Done all the way up the side of the chassis, all that sort of work, as well as up the front as well. It's K-Flex, I think it's called from Bunnings, um, obviously just cable tied around and then I'll, I'll use some conduit on other bits and pieces. Got three water tanks plus a waste tank, so we're set for water-wise. It's 240 litres of water, um, something that'll give us, the way we've been using water, which is pretty sparingly, that'll give us five or six nights easy without any top-up, so. I've heard a lot of stories about rodents and things like that getting into places that you don't want them if you're have to leave stuff open because the outdoor kitchen comes out the tunnel but i've actually added these just these foam mats cut them out to size so when the kitchen's open i can um i can put them in and it seals it a little bit it's got the standard solar two panels that come with the all-terrain we haven't upgraded anything on the roof really drs helps us keep the dust out um obviously tv aircon and the like um but yeah just the standard solar we find is enough i keep that extra little blanket solar blanket just to keep us topped up if we're in the shade, but we find with the power we use, just the two panels is perfect. Hard to complain about the view from up here too. Anyway, that's, uh, that's the outdoor tour of the all train. Right, let's go inside. Calling this the lived-in tour, because no one's cleaned up anything in here, the prepper, ready for the tour, so come on in. Um, obviously, we've got the L-shaped couch here in our caravan, um, which is an option with the Jayco. You can also get the cafe lounge, which is two on the side. And to be honest, I'd probably change to that. Um, it puts a line between these two and stops all of the arguments if we had the two sides. But anyway, we make it work. We obviously have an uh, east to west bed. There's no walkway on the all-terrain, um, but a bigger bed, so, you know, take or leave it. We have put a massive mattress topper on this baby. It's a gel one from Pillow Talk. 
highly recommend it, but it is very heavy. So if you're short on weight, probably not the best idea. Up here is all the camera gear. Um, I love doing the photos, so I travel with a lot of camera gear. That's Mommy, actually- and me, I love taking photos. You love photos too. That's not even all the camera gear. Uh, we used to have our clothes, his and hers in these, but we've changed it over now. We've got jumpers and blankets in those ones um, because they're less frequently used. So you're not climbing over the bed to try and get your clothes out all the time. Over this side is basically just the kids out of bounds covered. We've got Charlotte's schoolwork, cables, TV, equipment. Uh, uh, we have installed two Sirocco's over the bed, uh, a couple of hat hangers. Um, we also have the nooks down here that we put all of our cables, books, whatever else we may have in those. Um, mods to the kitchen. We've just put a few fuse lock things up. Um, we've got the baskets here for things we need straight away. Mozzie spray, sunscreen, stubby coolers, torches, keys. I know everyone says don't have the keys near the front door. Um, if we're somewhere we don't feel safe, I do make Justin sleep with the key in his silk over there. Uh, we have a full oven in our van. Also highly recommend a full oven. If you had asked me before I lived in a caravan, I would have said just get a grill, but I actually use the oven all the time. So really, really necessary that one. Um, top covers, we have coffee and toasters. This one we have glasses because yes, I travel with a full blown wine glass in the caravan. Um, and then plastic on this side. We have put up a little whiteboard on our little wall above the, above the couch there. There's snacks there. Snacks up here. <laughs> Breakfast up there. Breakfast up there. <laughs> Uh, you can see this little Wi-Fi switch there. We don't use that. We actually use Elon Musk Starlink now, so that's what it's Fridge here with gold things in it. Three-way, two-way. What's it called, Justin? <laughs> Three-way fridge. Three-way fridge, which means it can run on gas when we're parked up somewhere like this, running on solar for six days. Um, so that's super handy. The main mod we've done to the van is actually the pantry. Obviously the 196 has this really tall, skinny, awkward cupboard. So we got these baskets from Bunnings. Um, and I'll just show you one here. If we push it in, it's on a little push look. Uh, it slides and you can get access to everything at the back. You do lose a little bit of space on either side, but I think you gain it in what you can put further back anyway. We'll put some info to those links um, in the comments below. Kids bunks, as I said, this is the lived in tour. Nothing's cleaned up in here, so. They both have their toy boxes just from Kmart down the end. All of that goes in there. We've got um, dark sheets on the inside of the doona and on the t on the pillows and the fitted. And um, that makes sure that no dirty feet staining things and then the pretty just goes on the top. We got those custom made by Lady in the Sunny Coast and I will put her details in the comments as well if you're interested in those. So the ladder does actually sit quite a bit out um, when you purchase an all-terrain. So Justin just gave it a bit of a chop, re put the hooks on, and now it sits, it's a bit steeper, obviously, but it sits a bit more out of the walkway. So it stays there all the time, doesn't really bother us. Uh, another huge change we did to this van is we actually took off the Constantina bathroom door. So you can see, um, if I just take this camera, you can see on the inside here is the hooks, uh, the screw holes, sorry, where it was, um, bolted on and it ran across the whole opening there. So we actually took that off. We moved the curtain that was hanging over this entrance here and we put it on an angle. So we put it here just to um, block light from the kids heads in the bunk. So when they go to sleep, slide that one across like that. Slide their bunk curtain off like that. And that blocks light from their head. Um, gives them a bit of privacy in our bunk and obviously gives us privacy as well. So that's working really well for us. We lost some weight by losing the concertina door and um, it was also painted the part, made the opening bigger, everything like that. Um, the only other thing I might add is we might add a curtain across the hallway here just to completely... Yeah, we still got the that, that's where the original curtain was. We actually just moved it to the back on an angle, but we might bring it back and add an extra curtain. We don't need anything to soundproofing. The kids sleep with a white noise machine um, in their bunks there. So 
the main thing this is these curtains are providing is privacy for both them and for us wardrobe at the end and um, this is where we moved our his and hers clothes to so you can see we've got um basically the kids swimming stuff hats and whatnot on the bottom justin's shelf my shelf and up the top we've got towels spare sheets and nappies right in the drawers we've got um shah's drawer on the top Max drawer second and then shoes in the bottom. For some reason Mac thinks I shouldn't leave my shoes in there. It's her shoe drawer, but I've snuck yeah. her shoes in there. Um, in the shower here, obviously separate toilet and shower in the all-terrain. Um, this is our mini washing machine in here. That's a leave it. Don't even think about taking your washing machine out if you're traveling full time with kids. Bloody love that washing machine. Um, that's probably it for the bathroom. Yeah, the only comments from me would be the sliding shower screen door. Even driving on bitumen, it um, it still comes off its tracks. So, corrugations, bitumen, doesn't matter where it, where you go, it does come off its tracks. It slides open all the time. There's no latch to keep it shut. So we need to add a little mod there to, to latch it shut. Yeah, so under the bed, we keep our backpacks and kid carrier for when we go on our hikes. Also added a second lithium battery, so upgraded to 220 amp hour iTech. So we got no issues running on power for, uh, or running on off grid. And guys, that's probably it for the inside. Um, hope you've enjoyed the little walk around the all terrain and everything we've changed up in here. Um, if you have any questions, obviously ask us in the comments. To the car, a trusty tow tub. So I've done a few mods inside. I've added a false floor in here, fridge slide with the uh, Dometic fridge and uh, XCM travel drawer. So in here I keep um, just my regular use things like little, that's just a probably emergency compressor or quick compressor. I do have a 12 volt compressor which works way faster, but if you've got plenty of time, um, I wouldn't recommend using that for all six tires because it takes forever, but yeah. Also keep a grease gun. I like to grease all mounting points that have grease nipples after a bit of dirt just to make sure they stay clean and pump a bit of fresh grease in there. Um, we keep a bit of water, spare cartons of beer, um, and then this is our toolbox, spare box here and here. Um, all the little spares and odds and ends that I like to carry. Keep them in the back of the car because of weight, the car's got a 10% GVM upgrade so I can hold a bit more in the car. The van's pretty close on its limit. It's, it's under, but yeah, it's, it's a bit tight. So I'll keep the heavy stuff in the car. So we pull the fridge out. In behind the fridge is my dual battery setup. It's got the Red Arc charger. Also powered by the solar panel on the roof. Just the cheap side awning, just for a bit of shade if we are down the beach having them barbecues or taking that little cooker, like I said. But the UHF aerial mount here, it goes underneath the bonnet. Just adds a bit of space. I don't have a bull bar fitted yet, um, something we're looking into still, but just allowed me to fit that there. As well as the cell fire kit up on the roof rack as well, you can see that other aerial. So, um, not too many changes. I guess the sidewise, we've got upgraded suspension to the Dominson's MRA adjustables. They're unreal. We've obviously put ROH. It's probably looking at the wrong mag because I've actually scratched that one on a gutter, but that's life when you're traveling around. I guess I'm trying to turn a big caravan around. Uh, inside is filthy at the moment, but we got the kids' car seats, um, some real iPad holders for them long drives to give us a bit of sanity sometimes. Sand-free floor mats, just to help keep a bit of sand out of the carpets. It doesn't keep much out. It does better than what carpet floor mats does. Um, no mirrors yet, so we're still running the clip-on mirrors. Why is that? Clear view, haven't, uh, haven't made them yet, but so far, these have been okay. Just I, I pull them off for the corrugated roads because they do flap around a fair bit. MRA Dobinson's upgrade, which gave me the 10% GVM upgrade. And then I've also added a Repco tire pressure monitoring system. So believe it or not, 300 series VX doesn't come with a tire pressure monitoring system. It's pretty well standard on all cars from about 10 grand onwards these days, but Toyota is still a little bit behind in that space. So the Repco one seems to be working really well. 
driver's seat. Haven't added too much really. I've had a little phone cradle there. Um, obviously got the UHF that we've put in and just a little case there. I'll put a torch and a pair of pliers and other bits and pieces in. But fuel filter for the 300 series is actually behind the rear tire. So I've fitted an extra fuel guard there. You can see Fats built, Fats Engineering out of Rockhampton in Queensland. Manufactured one and just slot straight in. So that adds a bit of extra protection for the fuel filter when you do are doing them rocky roads. So um, Rhino rack, short uh, Pioneer rack system. And some Max tracks. One other mod to the car was the ARB tow points. So gives us the ability there that if we do get stuck on a beach because we've done some beach camping recently that we can uh, we can stay hooked up and actually tow the car in the van out together with them rated tow points so makes life a little bit easier and just just some small things that you don't have to worry about with little kids around and you're trying to trying to get yourself out of a pickle you're not as stressed if you know you got the right setup people have asked on our journey how the 300 goes goes really well toes like a dream um, I know everyone sort of says that about their tow tug, but in all honesty, we've done some long trips with the kids. They're comfortable in the back. You get out of it after a really long drive and you're not sore. You can jump back in the next day and keep going. I just find the 300 does it absolutely with a dream. A lot of states are weighing vans a lot now and people are getting caught out with being too heavy. So caravan weight, we're sitting around 320, 330 tow ball weight. Um, it obviously changes depending on which water tank you use, which one you don't use, whether you got full uh, jerrys in the back, whether you got weight on the front, it chops and changes. But we we hover between that 300 to 350, which you're allowed to do. We've had a actual, uh, we had a ATM upgrade to the van. Um, so we've had it modified to be a 3187 kilogram upgrade which uh, gives us that bit of extra payload so that was done by a uh, local Mackay engineering uh, vehicle mod um, certified vehicle mod guy um, basically gives us an extra couple hundred kilos payload which we needed so 10% GVM upgrade on the car rear axle upgrade on the car ATM up upgrade here so we uh, we're, we've got more we can do on the car with GVM upgrades and things like that, but right now we're sitting pretty good weight-wise, so we're pretty comfortable. Thanks for having a look around with us. If you've got any questions, send us a message, give us a comment, something like that. We'll, um, we'll endeavour to answer them. Um, but yeah, so far loving our setup and everything we've got. Safe travels. <laughs>